Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Nice to see you, Peter. We are going to get started. Posterior chain today, first day back. I just want to make sure you guys can see me okay. Amazing. So you'll just barefoot work out today. You can bring a stair, a chest, chair, a box, a step. Good, we're just going to warm up the back. So touch those toes, bend those knees as much as you need to. Walking yourself forward, good. Tap those knees down, walk back, touch those toes. Good, do it again, walk forward. Find your plank core and gate. Tap those knees down, walk back. Good, do it again. Walk forward, tap those knees down, and back. So bend those knees as much as you need to. You wanna get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Tap down. Amazing, bringing yourself all the way up nice and slow. Wide, wide stance. Good, we're gonna go into a sumo squat. Pull that belly button to your spine. You can put your hands on your waist. Going down as deep as you can. Squeeze those glutes up top. Good, so imagining a string at the top of your head, you wanna stand up tall. Ronan, step a little wider for me. Yeah, good. Nice work, everyone. Squeeze those glutes up top. Welcome back. Nice to see everyone. Good, so keep for five. Four. Three. Two. Amazing. Good. Bring yourself to the top of the mat again. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Hinge. Get a nice stretch. Walk out to a plank. This time, step up with one foot if you can. Land here. Good. Step back. Walk back. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Get a nice stretch. Forward. Other side. Amazing. Step back. Walk back. Good, let's do this twice more aside. Good, step back, walk back. Good, forward. Every time you walk your hands to your feet is an opportunity just to stretch out those hamstrings to reduce the bend in those knees. Good, step back, walk back. Last one here. Amazing. When you get to the top of your mat, slowly round yourself up. Back to our sumo squats. Core nice and tight. Good, let's go. All the way down. So knees come out, falling and tracking over those toes. Core nice and tight and engaged. Deep breath in and out, squeeze. In and out, squeeze, good. You got it. Good, squeeze those glutes up top. Activate. You got it. Give me five more here. First off. Four. Good. Three. Two. One. Amazing. Good. You're going to grab two hand weights for me. We're going to start with some front squats. Good. So two hand weights. If you don't want to do with weights, you don't have to. You're going to come into this position. Feet the weight apart, you're gonna sit into a squat. Good, core nice and tight. Good, if you've got some weights, we're gonna go here with me, okay? Feet shoulder width apart, deep breath in. Sit, drive up, good. So you can do this with or without weights. What I wanna see and make sure is that those knees don't collapse in as you come up. So activate that core, those glutes, good. Sit nice and deep, pressing down those heels and the ball of the feet for nine. You got it, eight. Breathing, seven. Squeeze those glutes up top for six. Hold on, five. Four more, good. Three, keep it tight, two, one. Amazing, put it down on your back, please on your back. So hands reach to those heels. Good. Feet shoulder width apart. Good. Hands by your side. Good. You're going to squeeze shoulder blades back and together. So press those elbows to your side. Keeping your toes down, your heels down. Hips come up. Squeeze for three, two, 
one, tap down, butt touches first, right back up. Two, one, so what you wanna make sure is that you're not dumping into that back. Good, tuck those ribs, squeeze those glutes, tap down, and I really want you to bring that mind-body connection to those glutes. Good, tap down, right back up. So you should never feel this in the back. And I want you to activate those glutes with intention. Good, tap down, right back up. Keep that core engaged. Squeeze those glutes, tap down, right back up for five, two, one, back down, right back up. Four, two, one, make sure, connect to those glutes, feel them firing up. Good, tap down, right back up for two, two, one, last one. Tap down and up, three, two, one, amazing, up you get. Front squats again, please. Good, so finding a weight that you can keep with or hands across your chest. Good, we're gonna go nice and deep, making sure those knees do not collapse in. Good, in three, two, one, let's go. For one, proud chest. You got it. Good, bum down, four, you don't have to go deep. I wanna make sure your knees don't collapse in. For 10, find your breath, deep breath in. Brace through the core, breathe in, out, good. Seven, you got it. Six, squeeze those glutes up top for five. Hold on, four, three, two, one. Amazing, on your back everyone, on your back. Good, again, feet shoulder width apart. Let's do it again. Good. So make sure you're squeezing those glutes equally, one side and the other. Elbows into the ground, bend those elbows. Squeeze your glutes back and together. Hold it up for three, two, one. Tap down, right back up. Hold it between us. Three, two, one. Tap down and up for three, two, one. Good. Tap down and up. Two, one. Good. Tap down. And up, good, hold it. Good, tap down and up all the way for five, two, one. Tap down, right back up. Don't jump into the back. Good, tap down and up for three, two, one. Down, back up. Two, two, one. Tap down and up. Three, two, one. Good, relax. Up you get, please. Up you get. So option to go a little heavier here. We're gonna do some sumo squats, good? So you can either grab a heavier kettlebell, you can either grab one big dumbbell or two dumbbells, good? Similar to what we started out with, good? Wide stance, one weight in the center. If you want no weight, you don't have to, right? Core nice and tight, good, all the way down and up. What I don't wanna see is you buckling through the core. As you're coming here, I don't want you breaking at the waist. I want you nice and tall, coming out, squeezing those glutes up top. Good? With or without weights, your choice. Three, two, one, let's go. Proud chest. Good, squeeze up top. Let's go, Peter. Three, you got it. Four, five. Proud chest. Six, squeeze up top. So very different than a front squat, this position, right? Nine, breathe. Eight, drive through those heels. Seven, squeeze. Six, keep that core engaged for five. Four, good. Three, nice. Two, last one, one. Good, put it down. Planking, planking on your hands, everyone. Two options here. Option one, activating those glutes. Lifting the leg, really controlled, okay? Actually, let me show you three options. Option one, tabletop. Good, lifting one leg, holding it there, back to center, good. Option two, on your hands, same thing, one leg and the other, but notice how there's no movement in my core. Option three is leg, reach, center, switch. Good, start with the leg first, it'll help you stabilize and balance. Good, we're going to do six aside. So let's do it slowly and continue.
controlled. Activating that core, back muscles. Let's go. Three, two, one. Reach. Good. Bring to center. Switch sides. So I don't care which one you're doing. I want you to pause, engage in the core, in the back for four. Breathing. Four. And this isn't about hyperextending the back. Three. Bum down, Bettina. Bum down. Three. Two. Yes. Two. One and one. 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 Amazing. Woo. Up you get. Nice, Paulina. Good. Back to the top. Take your time. Find that weight. Go heavier if you need. Yes, I like it. Wide stance. Three, two, one. Let's go. Proud chest for squeezing. We're doing 15 here. Get deep. So you have to remember when you're trying to build strength and stability and fitness, it doesn't have to be fancy, right? You'll always see with strength movements that these, I always do fundamentals. You're not gonna see me do like any leg kick fanciness because these movements are fundamental functional movements. And you can just layer upon this, get heavier, get deeper. Amazing, put it down. Whew. Good. Again, six aside. Good, and find what works. So you don't have to be up on your hands and your toes if you don't want to. You can turn this into a bird dog if it's too much to balance in your plank. Good, but I want to see a nice plank. Core tight, glutes on. Ready? One leg, opposite arm. Controlled. Pause at top, reach, stabilize, balance. Let's go for five. Take your time. Five. Breathing. Four. Yes. Four. You got it. Three. Nice. Three. You got it. Finish it up strong. Two. Two. One and one. 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 Amazing. Up you get. We're going to get a water break after this. But we're doing one more set. I like this one. Ready? Wide stance. Core tight. Don't compromise the form. Get deep, drive down through those heels. Let's go. Squeeze shoulder blades back in together. Let's go. For one. Squeeze. Two. Breathing. Three. You got it. Four. Five. Yes. Six. Nice. Seven. Good. Eight. Nice. Squeeze up top. Don't miss that squeeze. Good, for five. Core tight, proud chest. Four. Body upright, Bettina. Three. Two. Better. One. Amazing. Put it down. Last one here. Take your time. I don't want to see your butt hiking in the air. Keep that active. Lift. Reach. Good, let's go. Six aside. Nice, Paulina, really good. Good, Ronan. Good. You got it, keep that core engaged, right? Squeeze that glute as you lift. Squeeze that glute and then reach. Three aside for three. Three, three. Good, two. Two, one and one. One, one. Amazing. Very good, everyone. Take a quick, quick sip. Quick, quick sip. Quick, quick sip. Good. We are going to go into some deadlifts. To get us started today, we're going to do it with two legs. Good? If a deadlift is not in your repertoire, Ronan, if you don't want to do the deadlift, you're going to do just a standard squat, good? With a weight in the center, right? So we are going to do 
standard deadlifts, meaning hinging, hips come back, proud chest, flat back. Almost imagining a pull right down your back as you hinge. Notice how my hands are right over my feet. That's where your line of sight is for that movement, good? If that doesn't work for you, I want you to turn it into a squat. I want those toes to be turned out, good? Hands across the chest, on the waist, or some hand, weight, hand weights here, and you can do a flat squat, right? Proud chest, good? So you can choose. We're gonna go deadlifts into side plank with the glute thruster, okay? So find a weight that works for you. Core nice and tight, feet shoulder width apart, good? Bracing through the core every time you stand up. You never wanna be rounded through the back. You want that natural curve, core tight, flat back, good? Equidistance weight between those feet, good. Let's go, hinge forward, grab that weight, drive up. Making sure those hips are coming back, you wanna feel a nice stretch, nice patina, in the back of those legs, right? You wanna activate those glutes up top, not leaning back into the back, just bringing those hips to your weight. Good, squeezing up top. Good, gripping your toes into your shoes or into the ground if you're barefoot like me. For nine, brace through the core. Eight, you got it, seven. Proud chest, six. Squeeze shoulder blades back and together for five. Nice, four. Good, three. Two, one. Amazing, put it down. Side plank. So yes, yeah, side plank traditionally is a core activation exercise. But for our purposes, we're using it as a glute focused exercise, good? So shoulder right underneath that, sorry, elbow right underneath that shoulder, pull the shoulder away from your ear, bend those knees. So your knees are going to be a little bit farther forward, but you're gonna press that hip forward and up, good? Option to straighten that leg up top, so you can keep it down, or you can flex it and let it float up. I don't want it here, I want it here, good? So bum down, forward, good? Always forward, pressing that hip off the ground, good, for seven. You should feel it in the lower glute. Six, breathing for five. Hold on, four, three, two, one. Good, come down for a rest for a second. Angle yourself through your shoulder again. We're gonna go up on the same side. We're gonna float that leg up. But your biggest focus is pressing the lower glute off of the mat, good? So I don't care if you're holding it here. This is what I want. Good, and then if you can, for 10, nine. But if this is dropping, six, five. Lift it up, four, three, two, one. Yes, other side, please. Bend those knees, proud chest. Good, let's go. All the way up and down, for 10. Hip comes back, hip comes forward, right? This lower glute is pressing forward. Seven, six, for five, take your time. Four, good, three, two, one. Good, relax for one second. That should suck, right? Even if it's 10, it should be challenging on that glute knee, good. Ready, extend that leg. Only do it if you can lift this hip. Let's go, hold it for 10. Small movement, nine, slow it down. Eight, seven, lift, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Up you get, back into our deadlifts, ready? That was a good option to slow down for a second. Option to go up and wait. Good, so check in, can you go a little heavier? Good, let's go. Feet shoulder with a pie, flat back. If you want, you can turn yourself to me this way so I can see your activation. Good, core nice and tight, let's go. Hinge forward for one, two, good. Squeeze shoulder blades back in together. Three, yes, four, nice feeder, good. Good, you should feel a nice stretch. Nice patina. 
Good. Squeeze up top. Good. Five more. Nice and controlled on the way down. Nice and controlled on the way up. Four. You should never feel this in the back. Right? Three. Pull that belly button to your spine. Two. One. Amazing. Put it down. Very good. Side plank. Good. So I'm going to start with the other side this time. Take your time. I want you to feel it in that lower glute. Good. Pull that shoulder away from your ear. Ten up and down first. Let's go controlled for ten. Nine. Breathing. Eight. Good. Seven. You got it. Six. For five. Controlled. Four. Three. Two. One. Option to hold it up and go right into it. For ten. Come back to me. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Lift it high for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Other side. Other side. And you can always do these, right? When you're hanging out watching Netflix with your kids, whatever it is. I think this is an excellent exercise. Get those glutes activated. One of the things that I work often with with my one-on-one -on -one clients is this glute activation. Oftentimes people come to me with glute weakness and it compromises your entire movement sequence with your legs, with your squats, with your back. Good, hold it up. Oh my gosh. Or not. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Oh my goodness. You should feel that in the glutes, yes? Good. Up we get. Yes, I like it, Bettina. Good. Up we get. Last deadlift. If you're finding it's too much, all these deadlifts, change it into a squat of some sort. Whatever feels best in your body. Good? Flat back. Our last set of these ones. Good? Feet shoulder width apart. Stabilize through all four corners of your feet. Core engaged. Squeeze shoulder blades back and together. Let's go hinge. Squeeze. Controlled. Good. Really be cognizant through the movement. Squeeze up top. Yes. Nice, Paulina. Is this okay, Ronan? For 10. Good. Nine. Breathing. Eight. Seven. Nice, guys. Six. For five. Good. Four. Yes. Three. Two. Last one, last one. One. Very good, everyone. Put it down. Last side plank. I know. I know, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Let's do it. Side plank. Knees together. Shoulder away from your ear. Good. Make it as good as possible. I know these glutes are getting tired. Good. Extend that top leg if you can. If you can, add that lift. Forward thrust. Good. Eight. Seven. Breathing. Six. Hold on. For five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. We're going to do ten leg lifts. Ready? Up we go. For ten. Nine. Eight. Controlled. Seven. Keep this hip up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my gosh. Other side. You ready for me? <sighs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Extend that top leg. Good. For ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. For five. Woo! Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, oh my god, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Take a quick, quick sip. Quick sip. 
Very good, everyone. Then you're going to bring your chair, your box, your step. Good? We're going to do some Bulgarian split squats. So you're gonna need your chair so that you can put your foot on it to balance. If you find that you cannot balance, then you are welcome to just do a lunge, okay? So, you may need, if you're on something hard like mine, you may need something to cushion, but we're gonna do a Bulgarian split squat. So, back toe on the box, hips square. So if your hip flexor is a little tight, you might need to be a little closer. But I want you to be far enough away that you can get all the way down, almost a nice 90 degree bend in that front knee, okay? So I'm gonna do it without weights. You are welcome to do it with weights. I would rather, if you're finding that it is challenging, you go to no weight so that you can get a full range of motion, okay? So don't think that you're a hero if you have heavier weights. I'd rather you get through the 15, because we are doing 15 on each side, full range, okay? So find your position, find your balance. If you need a chair to support you, grab a chair in front of you, good. Range of motion is your focus, good. Let's go all the way down. Back knee, getting as close to the ground as possible. If you're finding it's too much to balance, you can go to a regular lunge, static lunge. Good, get deep for 10, nine. Good, Peter, try it without weights, eight, seven. Good, six, get deep for five, four, Good, three, fight for the balance. Two, one. Woo. Other side, you ready? Hips square. Good, hips square. Nice range of motion as best you can. Let's go for one, two, three, three. Squeeze up top, open up that hip. Four, hold on. I know, I'm right here with you. Woo! Five more. For five. Four. I'm gonna put balance in five. Three. Two. One. Amazing. On your back, use that chair. I want your heels on the chair on the box, on the step. Good, we're gonna do hip thrusters. Only 10 in this position, then we're gonna turn it to single leg. Good, hands by your side. Let's go, squeeze, down control. All the way up, squeeze, down control. Squeeze. Again, never dumping into the back, please. Good, I want you all the way up. So you wanna to try to create a straight line from your knees to your shoulder, right? Four, squeeze. Three, hold on, two, yes, one. Good, keep those feet together, lifting one leg. So if this is not in your wheelhouse, keep both feet together and continue on with hip thrusters, squeezing those knees together. Otherwise, you're gonna lift one leg. So I want to see you get leverage. Lift high, nine, eight, seven, six, hold on, five. I know, four, three, oh my God, two, one. Oh my goodness, other side, ready? Let's go, for 10, nine, drive through the heel, eight, seven, all the way, Bettina, six, five, hold on, four, three, two, one. Up you get. Bulgarian split squat. Good, option to add weight if you can. So I want it to be sticky, meaning I want you to get deep so that at the bottom range, it feels like you're gonna get stuck, right? Even without weights, you can do this. Good. Let's go, I'm gonna start with my non-balanced good side. Good. 
square hips, core tight. Let's go for one, proud chest. Two, three, get down to 90, four. The deeper, the better. Five, for 10. Keep going, nine, eight, you got it, seven, uh, six, for five. You got it. Four. Yes. Three. Two. One. Woo! Shake it out. Other side. Hit square. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Making sure you're far enough away from that box, that step, that chair. Get deep. Yes, for 10, nine, eight, take your time, squeeze up top, seven, six, oh my God, five, four, three, two, oh my God, one. On your back, on your back. We are almost there, everyone. Almost there. Flex those feet. We're gonna start with the standard hip thruster. 90 degree bend in those knees. 90 degree bend in the hips. So you need to be close enough to your boxer chair, your bed, your couch, whatever it is, to get your heels right on it. Good? 90 degrees, so nice and close. Good? Hands by your side all the way down. Hips come all the way up, squeeze, down control. Trying to create a straight line from those shoulders to those knees. Making sure the knees do not collapse in. Finding your breath here. Squeeze up top. Yes. For five. Good. Four. You got it. Three. Two. One. Amazing. Feet together, knees together. Option to do thrusters just like that. Bettina, bring yourself a little closer if possible. Yeah, there, good. Heel on the box, heel on the chair, right? So driving through the heel, let's go for 10, controlled. Nine, all the way up, eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, uh, three, two, one. Other side, ready? Let's do it. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you got it, three, two, one. Very good, everyone. Take a quick, quick sip for me. Quick, quick sip. And we're gonna switch this up. Quick sip. So like I said before, glute activation is one of the weak links when people are working on their fitness. And it's very important, actually, as we get older, for core stability, for back stability and strength. That's why we do a dedicated day to posterior chain. Good, so when you're ready, we're gonna go on all fours. You might know what's coming. So core nice and tight. Tabletop position, curl those toes under. You're gonna go down on your left elbow. Good, knees come together, lift that right leg up. So opposite hand down on the elbow, opposite leg up. So I want you to notice this leg, bye Bettina, this leg is perpendicular to the ground. Good, from here you're gonna extend. Good, knee to shoulder. Extend, good? I don't want you arching the back. It literally is to press as though you're pressing against the back wall. Hold on. You've got five more here for five. This is focusing on that glute activation. Three, two, one. Good, keep that leg up in a 90 degree angle. You're gonna bring these knees together right back up. Fire hydrant. For two. Now I don't want you to see to see you rolling that upper body. This is just that glute 
to activate. Good, for five, four, down, controlled, three, bring that knee all the way up, two, one, hold it up top, good, straighten, bend, straighten, come back to me, Ronan, for eight, breathe, good, seven, six, good, for five, hold on, four, three, two, one, good, other side, do the other side for me. Good, so down on your right elbow, left leg comes up. Same thing, good, extend. Left knee, left shoulder, extend. Good, and I don't want you to imagine if there was a small dog right beside you that you had to make sure your knee didn't drop down. Keep that tension on that glute for five, four, three, I know, I feel it too, two, one, good, keep that knee up, fire hydrant, knees come together, Open it up for nine. Good. Eight, breathing. Seven, six, for five. You got it. Four, three, good. Two, one. Amazing, keep that leg up. Straighten, bend. Nine, eight, seven, oh my goodness, six, like a hamstring curl for five, breathe, four, three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, mama, you should feel that. All right, almost there everyone. We're gonna go the other side. Tabletop, left elbow down this side, this time. Good, right leg up. Oh my goodness, hang on. We got some cramping action. Ready? Good. Right leg up. Let's go for one, two, three. Take your time. I want you to extend all the way. Torso quiet. Good. For five, four, oh my goodness, three, two, one. Amazing. Bring those knees together for 10. Fire hydrant. Nine. Do not swing into it. I know, I can feel the glute activation. This is exactly what we want. Be patient. It's not about swinging it up. It's about just getting through that range of motion as best you can, breathing through it as best you can. One more here. Good, relax for one second. Then we're gonna bring it back up, holding it here. Extend, contract. And I want you, when you do this, focus on squeezing that hamstring, good? Posterior chain, bring that heel to the back side for five. Oh my goodness. Four, three, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. That was not so pleasant, was it? Good, other side, we are done after this. Stay with me if you can. Right elbow down, left leg up. Let's go for 10, breathing. Nine, eight, seven, Six for five, good. Four, yes. Three, two, one, good. Fire hydrant for 10. Breathing, nine, stay with me. Eight, oh my goodness, seven, six, five, four, don't swing. Three, make it you. Two, one, good. Hold it up top, let's go, extend, bend, nine, good, eight, you got it, seven, six, oh my gosh, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Very good, everyone. Bringing yourself on your backside. Ha. Good, so I want you to lean back so you can get right into that band of that glute knee, glute max, and you're gonna rock those hips side to side, right? And you actually should feel that where your backside meets the ground, kind of massages that piriformis where it kind of feels a little tight right now. Amazing. Good, and then when you're ready, bending one knee, scoot yourself forward. Very good. 
Good, and then rock it side to side. You can bring yourself a little closer to that heel if you'd like, get a little deeper stretch. Amazing, take that foot, let it meet the ground if you can into your pretzel position. Grabbing onto that front leg, getting a nice stretch through that piriformis. Be gentle here. Whatever feels good, you can use, use this as a bit of a twist in the back. Good, other side. Flex that foot. Good, so land here first. Get a nice stretch into that glute, that piriformis. Good, and then when you're ready, you can rock side to side just slightly. You can see that this changes the angle in that glute. Stretch. Good, and then take that foot, land it on the ground, pressing your chest or squeezing your leg into your chest. Should move down into a bit of a deeper. Amazing, straighten out those legs in front of you as best you can, hinging at the hips, reaching to the toes, wherever your body lands, you should get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Right? Nice stretch in the back of those legs, hamstring stretch. Good. Crossing one leg over the other, rotating over and around, looking over that back shoulder. Good. Plant that back hand behind you. Amazing. Other side. So same thing. Cross one leg over using that knee as leverage. Get that hand right behind you, get a nice twist, looking over that back shoulder. Really great work today, everyone. Soles of the feet together, sitting up tall, grabbing onto those ankles, hinging forward if you can. Good, when you're ready, standing up tall. We're gonna grab onto our ankles, we're gonna stretch our quads, bringing those knees together. Press that pelvis forward. Good job. Good, other side. And you can always do those few stretches throughout the day. There you go, teamwork, I like it. Good. Feet shoulder width apart, hinge forward, fold over, hang out here for a moment. So even though we spend a couple minutes after our workouts for the stretch, you can always do this anytime you're feeling tight. Good, when you're ready, slowly round yourself up. Give yourselves a hand, guys. That was amazing.